The 2016 legislative session is underway. What can we expect to see from the legislature in the next 60 days? Well, this is a short session. It's a 60-day session, as you mentioned, and really the focus is going to be on education and making some additional education reforms. Certainly, I think some issues of public safety and mental health will be on the agenda. We just had the governor's state of the state address here at the Capitol where he laid out kind of a four-part agenda, really emphasizing education, mental health, and improving the safety net. So it's going to be a very, very active session. We've only got 60 days, and we've got a lot of work to get done in that time frame. So what are your priorities for the 2016 session? Well, I'm going to continue to focus on mental health. You know, last session we enacted the landmark Joel's Law that gave families and close family members the ability to go directly to court in order to help their loved one who might be suffering from mental illness. We've got to make some amendments to that law, I think this year, some technical fixes. I'm also really focused on transportation, the I-405 tolling. I've co-sponsored legislation that would remove the hot lane tolling feature as well as reducing the HOV lane back to two plus. It's caused considerable congestion throughout the corridor going to that three plus HOV lane. So I really want to focus on working with colleagues on the Transportation Committee on that. Also, SR-169 has got some significant safety issues that we are trying to address. I've asked the Department of Transportation to give me cost estimates in terms of uh, what it would cost to do a specific and highly focused study on safety improvements that we can make at some of those uh, real flashpoints on SR-169 that uh, have led to some recent fatalities, tragic fatalities. So we've got to address the safety concerns on SR-169. With respect to education, we are really going to continue fulfilling our obligations under the McCleary decision. Also, one of the things that, that I feel real passionately about, though, is our charter schools and how, especially communities of color and communities in rural areas of the state where they don't have access to quality education, charter schools are the answer. And unfortunately, our state Supreme Court ruled that our charter schools are unconstitutional. So I've co-sponsored legislation as well that would address the state Supreme Court's concerns and reimpose and reestablish our charter school system in the state of Washington, which has been the answer for so many kids and so many families across the state. It's a real honor and a privilege to be able to serve the residents of the 5th District down here in Olympia. I want to ensure that everyone knows that I'm always accessible. Give me a call, send me an email. It's invaluable to me to hear your concerns so that I can do a more effective job for you down here in Olympia. Thank you so much.